Today I'm going to teach you how to make this placemat or table runner more attractive. So we're gonna do some five rounds more around the sides of these and we're gonna start with the first round now. So we will start, so you end it around here. We're gonna start putting in the first round on the corner. All right, so find this corner here without the end tail, like this, so we don't put it there, we put it here. All right, so we're gonna start our first round here. We're going to do a slip knot. And then we chain three on top of the uh, double crochet. And also make one. Okay, first you need to secure and then. We count one, two, three, and then we put in another in the same stitch. We do double crochet, all right. And then after we do the double crochet, we're now going to put in seven double crochets in the chain four space so we we count one two three four Seven double crochets in this in the corner space. Now, after putting the seven double crochets, we're now going to make a mirror of what we have done in the first uh, part. We have put in two double crochets, so we're gonna do the same thing with this last double crochet here. So we're gonna do one and then two. And then after that, we're going to make two double crochets in a chain space. So two double crochets in the chain space. And then we're going to chain two. And then on the next chain space, we're going to put two double crochets as well. So this is going to be the repeat. So we're going to chain two again. And then we're gonna put in two double crochets. in every chain gap okay so we've reached the second corner of this placemat after putting in two double crochets in there we're going to do the same thing with the first corner that we did we're going to put in two double crochets one two and in the corner space, we're going to put seven double crochets. One, two,
After putting double seven double crochets in there, three for five seven, and then in the next double crochet, you're going to have two double crochets. One, two. After that, we're going to put in two double crochets in the next gap. And then we chain two. And then we put two double crochets, skipping one chain gap. Alright, so we're going to repeat that pattern until we reach the third corner. So you chained. Alright, so you, what we did is we had two double crochets here, and then we have another two double crochets here, chain two, two double crochets, chain two again, and then we skip this gap, and then have two double crochets in the next. So that's how we repeat the pattern on this side. So we now have reached the third corner of this placemat. So And then next is we're gonna do two double crochets. Excuse me. And then we're gonna do chain two. And we're going to do the same thing with what we did here. So we're going to do chain two. And then we're going to put two double crochets in every gap. So this is the gap space here. After this, so we put it here and put in two double crochets in here. One and two. And then chain two. And then here. One. Two. So far, this is what it looks like. Make sure that this side and this side are the same. Because as you've noticed, the one that we did on top is different. Every other gap, we put in two double crochets. But in this side, every gap, we put in two double crochets. Okay, we're now on the last corner and we're going to put in two double crochets on top of this double crochet. This is what we have done so far with all the corners. We had two double crochets in between the seven, the seven double crochets. So make sure everything, make sure your counting is right so that when we move on to the next round, because we will do some increases, 
make sure that you have seven double crochets and two double crochets in between them so that when we make increases it will be it will be even and the sides will not be lopsided and then we move on to the next one same thing as we did before uh, this is the like the top of this table runner or placemat and then when you get to the bottom you'll notice that they have the same row okay only gaps so with this side we're gonna do the same thing we're going to skip this first gap here so we're gonna do two double crochets okay two double crochets in here so whatever you did on the second okay so this is the second that we did the second corner right and we have put two double shades in there we didn't okay so we skipped this one and we had two double shades here so this is the same as this one so we skipped the gap here and then we put in two double crochets here sorry my camera is not focusing <laughs> all right <laughs> and then we chain in two and then we skip the gap and then two double crochets in the next we will just repeat that for this row Once we reach the uh, the last gap here, or maybe before the last gap, if you have noticed in the previous rounds that we did, we don't usually do two chains. We just simply move on to the next gap and do two double crochets. After this, uh, two double crochets in between the seven double crochets so next thing is we're gonna just slip stitch on the top third chain here and then we fasten off this is what it looks like so far make sure that all the corners are even make sure that it consists seven double crochets in the chain space and then there should be two double crochets in between them all right and then when you put two double crochets here make sure you don't have two chain spaces here all right but after you move on to the next gap there should be two chain space all right same thing with this one this one, this one, and this one. So far, this is what we have done. For those who are wondering why I have started with this first round, I have made a video, a separate video on this pattern. So you may click the link in the video description box to find out how to do this one.